verse says, For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Verse 31, For this cause shall a man leave his mother, father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Remember the Bible talked about marriage being a mystery. He talks about concerning the church. How we're supposed to be one with Christ. One flesh here is talking about uh, with a husband and wife. One flesh is physical relations or sex. Now, this is a subject that does not get talked about much behind the pulpit anymore. And it is a subject that needs to be preached and taught behind every pulpit in every church across the world. Because this is an important thing in the sight of God for a husband and wife. It's sex. <clears throat> because when you when a husband and wife has sex, you come together as one. And I want you to flip over there to 1 Corinthians 6, 15, and 20. And I'm going to read you something here about this oneness. And not only do you become one with your wife, but this is what the Bible says when you become, when you have sex or with other people. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that ye which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. There's so many people out here having sex outside of marriage. They're slipping around with the secretary. They're just slipping around with some neighbor down the road. And they think they're getting by with all this. But inside of God, they're not getting by with it. That's right. But what's really happening here is a spiritual thing going on. Take, for instance, if a man has got a wife and his neighbor down the road has got the hospital and she Who's in in? Flirting and stuff. Next thing you know, they in the they in the bed and they're having sex. Well, there's a spiritual thing going on too, according to, according to the word of God. Whatever, whatever spirits that that woman is carrying, he just took on himself because they came one. And that's why a lot of marriages nowadays are having so many problems. Because they're taking on so many spirits. Because it's a spiritual thing. Marriage is a spiritual thing. <clears throat> In the same way, when you got born again and accepted Jesus in your heart, you accepted what he did on that cross, guess what? You just took on everything he did for you at that cross. Your healing, your salvation. Anything that God did for you on that cross, you just took it in. It's a part of you. You became one with Christ. And it's no different when you uh, step outside your marriage and you have sex with another person. You're going to become one, according to this right here. And that's a deadly, deadly place to be. And there's, a, there's, there's so much to that.